Now, how do you move from TV to tequila? Uh, some might say it's just a matter of a few Oof, hours. Across the sitting room floor <laughs> and just grab it. <laughs> <laughs> well, today's Inside Track guest is Cleo Rocos, who was once famous as the glamorous sidekick of the British TV comedian Kenny Everett. Now, she's now the boss of tequila producer Aqua Arriva. The firm was founded five years ago, aimed at customers wanting an affordable, high-end tequila without the hangover. Tequila's come a long way from a hangover-inducing margarita laden with salt and lime to a premium product with booming sales. In the UK alone, sales are up by a third to £173 uh, million. Pounds. It's about $228 million. Calculated that off the top of your head, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, in the US, there's been a big rise in demand for premium tequila. That's the reason drinks giants are jumping on board. This year, Diageo bought George Clooney's upmarket Casamigo brand for $1 billion, while France's Pernod Ricard invested in another premium tequila brand. So, let's have a look at this uh, with uh, uh, Cleo Rocos. Cleo, you founded, what's the name of your business? Why did you find it? Was it because you saw a booming market? No, not at all. Uh, I, like most everyone else, had the most horrific uh, first experience on tequila and swore that I would never go near it. And that's sort of in my college uh, <laughs> days. Um, but about 16 years ago, I was in Mexico and I saw this really elegant and dynamic lady in her 60s sitting by the pool at the small hotel I was staying at and she was uh, drawing and chatting camply and laughing on the phone and she had a sort of floaty chiffon dress and she looked sensational I thought she must be the editor of Mexican Vogue and I noticed that she kept drinking from long thin flutes of um, sort of liquid and I saw her have six or seven of these and I asked the waiter what's that lady drinking and he said she's drinking tequila and I said, she can't possibly be because she'd be dead by now <laughs> on, my, on my personal experience of, our, you know, the college tequila days. So I asked her to bring what she was drinking. And it's the first time I ever mm. tasted 100% agave tequila, real, the real deal, the real tequila. And I, I, I just fell in love with it. And I went to learn everything I could about tequila. And I learned how to make it. I learned everything I could over the coming years. And... Um, and it was like falling in love with somebody I couldn't help. One of the things I wanted to ask you about is, you know, as, as someone with a creative background, you're from the creative industries, yes. and um, I mean, we've got the, the label there. Yes. There's a bit of a story behind how that design came about, isn't there? Yes, well, the thing is, I, I engaged with the bartenders, to, and I, the bartenders to me are, are the heroes in, 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 in the industry, in the drinks industry, because they're the ones with the knowledge to inform customers too. So I went to the bartenders and I said, what bottle do you most like to work with? And they chose my bottle. And then I didn't want my tequila to look like everyone else's, like some boring old bloke in a bottle. <laughs> so uh, I wanted my tequila to look like the first day of holiday. It's something you want to reach for, something you want to enjoy to drink. And so my label was created by this uh, fellow here, his name is Jamie Stiby Harris, and he is, he was a young art student I bumped into on the tube and I commissioned him to do my label, and that's him and his girlfriend dancing on the wing but of the plane. How do you, in, the premium tequila market is getting more and more crowded, how do you stand out? How do you, how do you... Because um, uh, my, my brand is actually something uh, that people want to drink. Um, I'm, I'm but how do you get that across? How do you get that well, across? Well, I, I would do master classes all over the country. My, my, my brand is really clean. It's one, this is one best of the best in the world's biggest tequila judging is it in just the US. The UK? Is it just the UK? No, in, um, um, exporting now to, uh, uh, to India, to Russia. We're in the US. But how do you do this master class thing? How do you, how do, you do that sort of education? Well, it just, it's, it's a comparison. You, you know, you engage people to try because most people, you're trying, having to try them to to reconvince them to try tequila. Most times it's not their first time and their first experience was bad. And just very briefly, what's the ultimate aim? Do you want the business to be you know, eventually sold to one of the big drinks companies? Is that what you're hoping? Well, my, my, I love my business and we've just signed a huge um, contract with, with um, TGI Fridays. We're in Bills, we're in Ping Pong, we're in um, Nationwide, in, in Mojo's, in, in Gino's, in a lot of huge, um, huge, uh, restaurant chains and we're now winning the big contracts away from the global brands and that's because the customer wants provenance and they want authenticity. They don't want just the marketing. You need to try a bit.
Oh, yeah, I think, um, yeah, but, but by <laughs> Try all means, let's go on. Let's Look at this, there's fine for me the to talk about it. The director's it. saying right. we're running out of time. Okay, well, here, just but, try, um, just try a little bit. take one down for him. Here He'll we be, go. Uh, generous. No, you it's, just, it's very Fine, smooth. There we go. Thank you, Cleo. I spend a long time making it. Are we not meant to have salt and lime? No, no, no that's no. only for the, it's the dodgy stuff. Oh. That's all right. Mm. That's all right, then. You'll mm, become mm, the edited mm, highlights like of yourself. OK. Oh, lovely. Don't drink it all at once. No, no, no. Says you, who's <laughs> finished it, you've it got, in one you've got, you've got, <laughs> Right, Cleo, thank you very much. Thank really you for having you. me on your show. Thank you. Now, question. Can you be president of the world's biggest economy and an international business owner at the same time? Donald Trump is... The US courts are about to decide if that puts him in breach of the Constitution. Here's Michelle Fleury in New York. 